emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Shut up and sit down. Hello again, gang. Colin here. Festa 67's workshop and welcome to part two or three of the e-models build of the wee little ball tank and where are we at first things first let's have a review of what we done so far we've done the engine so we've got that glued together we've got the exhaust on there manifolds and the little turning wheel ready for the tread to go around the outside so you switch on its frame and then this will all get cleaned primed and ready and weathered and yeah so what we'll do is we'll put the bits safe now so i tend to, i've printed one of these little bad boys and i tend to put all the bits and bobs that i'm building for kits in there so we've got some other bits that we've done for the kit some seats that we built last time so they can go in just like so all the little bits brake calipers the bits that i'm going to ping around the bench can just live in there for a minute nice and safe so i'll just pop that off at the back there and see what we're going to have today so we're going to build we're going to build this which is a tank uh, fuel tank and frame uh, we've done a couple of the brake calipers so we'll put the final one of those together and then we've got some more seats down here to do and then we'll then dig the engine out and we'll start mounting the engine on the rims and putting the framework in and the posts okay and that will take us to that that sort of stage where the seats are ready to go in and then we're going to jump forward a couple of bits and, and perhaps assemble some other ancillary parts so that they're ready to go so I might do a little bit of skipping forward and join the skis together, that sort of thing. So we'll have a look and see how we get on. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we'll make a little start on that, I think. So I'll just put them to one side. And we can uh, have a little looky low as to what we're up to. So I've got my instructions on my clipboard just literally just there because yeah I like to be able to see what I'm doing and uh, let's have a look at what we can find so we want to start with a tank a tank of many which is that piece there like so yep yeah there she is just tucked in nicely over there like so you've had a load of a load of blokes inside something for a long time it's not gonna look as new as it once did is it no it's gonna look a bit scabby a bit sloughy and uh, yeah like 
us blokes are a bit messy, so there's all the women out there going, yeah, see, I told you, told you you are. You want to listen to that bloke, he talks a load of sense. <laughs> Align all of this. Come on, no twitches today, please. Thank you. Somewhat like that is how it's going to go. So, the first port of coal, I think, would be put a bit of glue on it. We'll slap it on. Slap it on. loads of these all over your desk and you'll be going oh really so I'll just quickly get rid of those so we don't start pinging them all over the place just like that well, it's all that needed so we want one of them and then we start with the wheels little guide rollers even so we'll nip those off. Well, there's eight of them. So we'll cut them off. It's one of them. I, I honestly would have loved if these things become a reality. And seeing how the interior of this kit is with an engine and transmission, I can imagine there's a few blokes just like me who might <laughs> it's one of them people might have a spare car engine laying around because yeah we all have one don't we um, but yeah you could just imagine disappearing down to your shed one Sunday can't you and the look on your missus face as you come rocking out your shed sat on one of these bad boys because you've been a bit bored and had a build down in your garden shed Oh mate, the fun I would have. I'd be straight down to my local supermarket and go, can you all move to one side? I've come to get my toilet roll. And they look round and see you sat there in this big old armoured tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it would be quite appropriate as well at the moment. So, uh, we'll just spin this round and it is this quick. Just a little dab and put these little wheels or guide rollers on like that No social gathering, it says. There's a big crowd come walking past. Yeah. See, so that's that. Uh, right. Well, here's one I prepared earlier for the other side. So we've now got a pair of them. So I do believe we will be ready for the big old engine bit at some point so I'll dig that out 
uh, yeah and we can suss out where that's gonna go now from what I remember it was the free rollers at the bottom like that so, and then you get a bit of damage in two holes and the tank goes in first like so and just hold that up whilst that cures <sighs> yeah I love it when bits start going together oh <laughs> Oh, that was perfect timing, wasn't it? Yeah. Couldn't have timed that better myself. Yeah. That made it a lot faster. Yeah. So we just pop a bit more in there, just be on the safe side. So just give that a bit of a bit of support whilst it's biting and all of this is gonna get primed in halves if that makes any logical sense. So I'll rest fit the other ring on the other side but I'm not going to permanently glue it just yet at this stage purely and simply because I want it to be able to lift off so that I can prime and paint I knew that would come in handy like that and we want number one off of there so I mean I might be able to get in with it as is I don't know I won't know until I put the other side on as to how accessible it's going to be but yeah I mean we'll see you know me I'll change my mind all the time Severe and see what we can achieve. And we want that with full one 
side to the other. saying all right so so i think with the way that engine keeps popping over that i probably will have to join both halves because that does seem to want to keep disappearing over doesn't it so i think that we will have to support that somehow with the other half so my plan of doing it in stages for priming might be out the window judging by how that's behaving on there let's just carry on anyway and uh, see what happens uh, looking at how that's falling about there for the purpose of filming it's one of those where you would, wouldn't normally glue stuff together so quick would you you would bung it in rest it against something let it cure and yeah so i'll uh, keep an eye on Make sure we got that one round the right way. And yeah, that one goes there, that one goes on the next one up. So we are we are doing it right then. Pop all of this in like with that. I think we can put a sander under there or something and let that set. And we'll come back and uh, fix all of that together then. Uh, and we've got four little vertical posts to pop in as well but I'll probably put them in after to be honest with you uh, I think we will build the skis and do some of the uh, ancillary bits that we was on about earlier whilst that, that little bad boy can sit over there and dry me thinks that way we can do a bit more bit more building uh, do, do, do. come back and do the chair actually do the chair now whilst I think of it uh, 
find out whether or not these are the ones I was looking for. Yep, one of them. One of those. Uh, we've got another caliper to do as well, so we'll grab that off of there. Like so. two halves then of the break that go together like all that and then that comes round the way and just locates in them two little holes like so that's a little spring loaded set of brakes that push against the outer wheel rim to slow said tank down. Yeah, I know. It's all technical, isn't it, eh? Hey? So that's all that. Uh, we'll do a bit of chairage. So we want BD number one, one of them. Looks familiar again, doesn't it? Building chairs. One of them. And a pair of those. Shove that out of the way. Don't want them. looks like the gun, one of the gun operators chairs this one and C10 just over like so procedure I did before and I'll just rest half of it with me thumb where roughly where it's gonna go like that yeah and then I'll just give it a bit of a larapin with a glue on the inside let that do its thing give it a goodly uh, CN2 on the other side there And then squish 
and that is that. Yeah, seatage. Seatage can't be a bit of seatage. Yeah, and then that is going to go around that way with the seat back where the glue stick is and uh, the seat front like so is how that's going to go just like that yeah I can imagine it's really cramped in one of these but neighbours over the road there having a bit of a shindig just give that a press together and a little little press there just to get the glue to bite and you can see straight down the side there the old capillary action just thunk sucks that glue straight in just like that and then C number 7 is the chair operating controls and all of that So C7 is quite a nice little set of levers and gubbins going on there. And again, it's Russian, isn't it? It's pleasantly agricultural and how they build their stuff, you know. It's no airs and graces about their product, is there? It's you know it's meant to do this and I use this to operate this and it does what it says on the tip there you go a nice little set of levers that is going to be quite interesting to fix in place for me so this can only go one of two ways folks so please be tolerant if I go off shot because I'm as blind as a bat and as shaky as shaky can be so oh, yeah cool man that was fun but yeah uh, we got it I'm just gonna put that in the safe area because I've got some other bits to attach to that chair but I'm not going to do them just yet because it's a little bit a little bit rickety so I think I'll scoot along and do the skis join these bits together get a bit of skiage on the go two and four and these are wooden so I'll get to do a nice little bit of the old wooden effect on this and it kind of takes me back to my beginnings in a way because that's how how I first well, I say I first one of the reasons I first bumped into Tony was one he was doing the Rossi bike when I was recovering from a major operation and I was getting under the wife's feet and she kicked me into the man cave basically and said go and do something constructive and bought me the Rossi bike and I got back into the hobby and then I bought a Boot Hill Express from uh, oh I think it might well have been E models or auction but anyway I um, did a wood effect on it and he was quite transfixed by it as to how I'd done it and 
that's where we kind of hit it off in a way and I get to do a similar effect on this so probably won't turn out how I want it now that I've gone and mentioned it but yeah we'll see so the skis just lock together like so according to that <laughs> a rudimentary way of assembling it yeah. have screws have a bit of metal and some wood yeah let's make a set of skis for our ball tank eh? <laughs> I love I love the Russians I really do love their armor their vehicles just so rudimentary and uh, yeah we don't need luxuries we just need to drive it from here to there yeah you got it long live their engineering <laughs> ingenuity it's very uh, sweet a big bit of skiing have you a bit of that do uh, that one and all of this stuff then can be set in a way quite nicely whilst we build the rest of the tank that's the aim anyway when I um, play this back that that didn't come out on, on video but one of the neighbours launched an insult just now that was quite quite funny with the current situation we find ourselves in and uh, it made me giggle <laughs> just totally random oh dear I love the Brits that's so funny but I will check the video just to make sure it wasn't uh, so much what was said it was the quality of the delivery it was just so random oh dear it's made my day that is that's so funny and the beauty of it is I know who it is who, who shouted it as well I know him really 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 well and it's just so him <laughs> oh dear it's comical oh dear and it's funny Fox I always said about my accent and uh, Andy's the same and uh, we have a way of saying things that sticks should we say and uh, yeah so that's the skis in uh, let's have a quick looky back and see whether or not there's anything else I can can add let's go for C8 and C12 and 11 they're all the controls for this side of that chair so part of me is thinking fit it and part of me is thinking wait just to be on the safe side um, where's it going in there this is section 11 so let's see whether or not I can 
spot that chair there it is there so it doesn't go in until quite a way down there um, yeah so I might looking at the mechanics of this is hilarious how they've got a lever here that goes up use me to a bracket a bent bit of rod and an arm that basically just operates what would be the normal position of a gear lever on a car and I just think he could so easily have just put his arm through the gap of these two posts and moved it but hey you know <laughs> I just think that is is quality. I love that sort of quirkiness. Uh, dilemmas. I'll probably actually glue them on off camera and let them cure in between editing and that. And that will leave us pretty much with just the other ring to go on and these few posts. So... I'll probably do that off air to be honest with you because I need to see what I'm doing and um, I think I might end up going off camera quite a bit and I don't want to do that um, yeah so we'll pause let everything dry and probably come back with that stage okay so I'm just literally putting in four posts and joining this other ring onto what I've got just here. Okay. But I can see it's going to be a little difficult to do whilst filming. So, yeah. So that's what we'll do. So I'm going to pause, have a cup of tea, and then when we come back, we'll carry on. Right. So we've had our cup of tea, let's see where we got to. Uh, we've done the engine and we was gluing in these three little bits and the posts and I've been along and done that off air and also fitted the two brake calipers and the seat units in place to give us this uh, shape and I've got it there see so we've now got everything in place and glued and solid and there's all your seats and everything all in place and it's had a little skim coat of primer just to seal everything and get it looking all nice and neat so I'm happy with that that's what we wanted to get to by the end of this episode um, it was a little bit wobbly when I had it on its side and I thought I'd get away with not gluing this on but I've just gone ahead and glued it because I can get in with the airbrush I can get in to do tiny little, little bits of chipping my wheel still turns which I'm happy about um, so I'll give that a coat of a very dull red that I'm mixing up uh, a little bit of to me a red uh, a little bit of a wash in with it because I want it to look like a dirty red dull color so that's what that's going to be painted with so at the beginning of the next episode that will probably be in its color ready to go so to finish this episode I'm just going to assemble the radiator components and one of the guns and then the other gun I'll do off air and uh, we'll then be ready on the next episode with this painted to start making up the halves, the guns and building the interior of one half of a dome and we can uh, do the other one off camera because it's an exact repeat of what we've done and then that will give us the wheel and tire assembly to to weather and, and do everything with as well as its interior and then i'll have the two halves to weather off the model with the skis and then we'll be able to go for a bit of joinage and yeah 
so we'll be by the end of this halfway through the assembly already so yeah let's uh, just bung them to one side for a minute and have a wee look at what we've got and I've got my sprues just off to my side there in a sprue holder that I've printed off now so we'll clip the radiator off so if you do hear rattling just on one side it's just me with me me uh, sprues so uh, what else have we got let's get the fan blade off of there delicate little parts they really are number 21 off of there and number four which is there and 15 which is uh, that one right there on its lines. Oh, oh, that's tiny. I would have thought that that was a Greebly. <laughs> yeah. I've got my extra fin just there, so let's give that a little, a little once over with the sander. Just like so. Uh, we have that piece like so. Make sure I've got it in the right spot. A little bit more of a, a dab of glue and miss completely the, the piece that I want to put on. Really, Edward, come on. Oh, yeah, you will fit. Resistance is somewhat futile in my little world it can try but it won't succeed there you go I'll just give that a little delicate press and then that'll be another piece for a, a suitable bit of priming a little bit of edge edge highlighting and they can all sit to one side in the shipping container ready so let's have a little look and glue at what we've got left to go in so we have da, 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 da. that's part A so let's look for B's Gunnage.
couple of the uh, ammo boxes they're for the inside edge of the dome hole but we'll make them anyway because they go in this little frame assembly which is also on this sprue so pretty much the entire contents of this sprue is going to be coming off to make this little widget um, number five which is the sights as well and then we've got a control should leave just the little pouch that co collects the empty shells and then a fit in which is the pivot mechanism that the gun mounts to so all of those little bits there okay we are on a roll So let's quickly glue them together. We'll de nub it in a minute. Like that. Let's get the old knife over from there. Let's give that one a, a wee scrape. So everyone going, God, oh, you're doing it with a knife towards you. Yeah, I know. It's because I can see it. And if I do a cabin, Captain Stab at it's only my own fault. Just like that. just got the blade resting on the heel of me thumb like so so I'm not doing it <coughs> like so I'm just just doing it deftly and if I do slip I'm only gonna get a tiny tiny little warning nick as I call it not a full-blown fox captain stabity because only fox can do full-blown Captain Stab at his because he is the only bloke in the world I know who could cut himself with a safety knife so yeah he's fearsome reputation for cutting himself which is highly amusing because when he does it he is such a girl proper princess full-blown princess of the year award is the sole winner is our friend Fox but one of the funniest people you'd want to meet and when you get him and Tony together it's like the chuckle brothers from me to you from me to you yeah. a pair of total Totally mad people. And it's that infectious uh, British eccentricity, as I call it, with them both. It's fun to watch. It's fun to watch the mayhem ensue when they get together. Let's put a little dab of that in. Put the uh, ammo box on the side of the machine gun net. There you go. And that's bit. A little bit of me uh, homebrew there. Why not? Oh, 
indeed pull that straight back off because yeah that's what you wanted to do isn't it I know yeah don't be like Vesta and then we want to put this piece in place which is going to be highly amusing so I'm going to cheat and I'm going to do it that way like so and then move it with my blade just to make sure I haven't stuck it to the bench or my finger for the next bit because it's tiny isn't it and yeah you know what happens when I've got small parts the carpet monster sits there licking its lips going <laughs> yeah in there for this wee pouch to go in just like that uh, and then we've got that little piece to go on as well just like so get the tweezers on that half there just to nudge it in place and then I'll put a a wadge of glue on there and the same the other side and that I'm nudging the camera is a bit of gunnage and then that leaves me the other two pieces now that that fan has joined on the radiator I can come back at that and just now put in the last two bits that I want on there which is this bracket that goes in like that Well, I say bracket, to me it looks like a, a bit of a grab handle if I'm honest. And the filler pipe for the radiator can go in now. Like that. 
Oh, that's fiddly, isn't it? Captain Fiddly. Yeah. Like that. And that, folks, I think, is a good place to wrap this little episode up. To be uh, honest with you, because we have got to the end of that page. Um, I'll clear that up in a minute. So we've got our inner frame. We've got our radiator. Got our wee ammo boxes and our gun. So we've got some gubbins to go on. Obviously our skis, we've got a pair of them as well, so all of that's done now. Happy days, so we can put all of that away. Nice and safe now. Um, do a bit of priming on them parts when they've cured as well. And then in episode three, we'll then be ready for the tyre quarters or quadrants where you can build the big side guns and start building up one of these halves of the, the external bodywork of the tank all the shells and everything like that to go in and we'll have then probably four four sub assemblies and bits and bobs to paint and then we can uh, build up the doors all the latches, all the mechanisms and, and uh, get ready to put them uh, in place. I'll do one door open, one door closed, pretty much as per that picture. And then we'll have a little fella stood behind the door there, about with his head poking out there and he's having a always stretch of his legs because he's been in a cramped space. So that's where we're going to finish today. Pop along to me sponsor, emodels.co.uk. Pop along there, have a look at what's in store. If you want to grab one of these tanks and build along with me, it is the Soviet ball tank with winter ski kit number 4008. Um, pop along there. If they haven't got it listed, it's not in stock and also you probably don't need it other than that say hello to the guys bear in mind obviously at the moment things are slightly delayed at the time of filming this um, e-models will endeavor to get your orders out as soon as possible they will email you confirmation of dispatch and then obviously with courier companies and that they're also having to work in slightly unique circumstances at the moment say hi to james feel free to send up a, a, a box of cakes or something for the guys because they are doing a wonderful job up there to keep keep e-models functioning at this time of of need and until then i look forward to seeing you in episode three bye bye for now bye